Good morning, Junior Primary. Here we are again in lockdown. And even though it's not where we prefer to be learning, we can do this. We'll get through this and aren't we blessed to have this opportunity to meet and learn through this way at least. So this week in our writing, we are going to be learning from a story called The Water Princess, which is based on a true story. So when you go to school box um, writing page, you will find that there is a big red link there which says click here to watch The Water Princess. So I would love you to go and have a listen to that now. And then when you're finished, come on back so pause me, go and listen to that, then come on back and I'll explain what to do next. So you've had a listen to The Water Princess now and I would like you, in your home packs you will have this sheet. I would love you to go and see if you can find this sheet. It says writing story map on it. Now, you may be used to a story graph which looks a little bit differently to this one. Often we use this story map here. Okay, this is the same thing. It is a story map or story graph. It just looks a little bit different with a few different pictures on there. But basically, you're going to be using this today to write, or if you're not confident with writing yet, that's okay. You can use this to draw or write um, where you see things happening in the water princess and plot them on the graph as they happen. So you'll see along the bottom here it says time. So this is the start of the story and then it works its way up to the end of the story. And along here it says excitement. So this is whether the excitement is high or whether it's low, where the backfill is, and where it might be getting higher, the excitement, right up to the climax where the excitement is the highest. Okay, so what you'll need is you'll need this sheet and you'll need a pencil. Now, the first thing you'll need to put on your story graph is at the start here, and then we're going to work our way up. But at the start, what happened at the beginning of The Water Princess? Do you think that that was a sensational start? Why do you think it was a sensational start? Did it make you want to read more? Remember, our sensational starts make the reader curious. They want to know more what's going to happen next. So, can you write or draw down here what words or actions were part of the story, The Water Princess, right at the start? You can go and do that now. You might want to re-watch the start of the story. Okay, here we go. Pause me. Have a go at writing that down. Great. So now that we've had a look at the start of The Water Princess, let's have a look at the backfill. Now, backfill, remember, is not so interesting or exciting, which is why it dips down on the excitement scale on this story map. The backfill is the who, what, and why, etc. of the story. So, could you write on your story graph who the characters are in this story? So, in backfill here, you could write or draw Gigi is the main character. And we've got her mum and her dad talking to her. I think there's also some friends that she meets along the way. Do you think that she's a real princess? Or is that a term of endearment that uh, her parents were calling her? How do you know that? Anyway, in the backfield, you might want to write in here where this story takes place. Is it in Australia? Mm, pretty sure they say Africa. So you might want to write in here Africa. And when do you think? Do you think it's a long time ago in the past? Do you think it could be now? Or do you think it's set in the future? Maybe you could write that in here in backfill. Okay, feel free to pause me so that you can have time to fill the backfill in. You might like to go back to the story to get some of these answers. The next thing you will need to put on your story graph 
are the tensions in the story? So have a listen to the words and what can you hear that makes you think that there's a few problems? So whether it's words like tiredness, um, unclean water, um, having to go a far way to collect water and so on. You can write all the problems that you find in The Water Princess along here where these dots get bigger as the tension builds. Okay, so pause me and go and fill in all the problems or tensions that you find in the story. Now, the last thing that I want you to plot on the story map or graph is about the ending to The Water Princess. So, how does this story end? And put that on here, whether they're words or questions or ideas, how does the story end? So I'd like you to write that somewhere on there. And that is your work for today. So if you need the explanation again, feel free to listen to this again, pause it along the way, listen to the story again, pause it along the way and have fun filling in the Water Princess plots along the graph. We'll see you soon for more. Bye.